good morning if i look a little oily it's because i um just finished the skincare routine i'm trying out rose hip oil and i hope it works well because um sometimes i have blemishes and it's supposed to be great for blemishes so we'll see i'll let you guys know in the future actually fixing me a cup of coffee right now before the girls wake up <laughs> waking up i'm waking up You know, I used to have trouble waking up in the morning. I was sleeping until 12. And this is very recent. I had to say a prayer about it. I was thinking, you know, am I sick or something? <laughs> Why am I requiring so much sleep? But I realized it was also because I was going to bed so late. But even with going to bed late, I was still waking up. Just forcing myself to get up, you know? I can't stay in the bed forever with my kids. And then I could be more productive if I just take the steps to get up it's a it's a rainy day right now hoping the sun comes out later so i can take nyla outside or just have some sunshine Doo -doo -doo. Mm -hmm. i'm gonna fix my cup of coffee so i can get that extra energy feel alive and be alive I actually have this cool machine here. It's my water cooler. And I got the one with coffee because I don't have a K cup. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't have a Keurig. I have K cups. Um, so I hope your day is going as well as mine. I'm actually in a great mood today. I woke up happy. I woke up ready to take on the day and I woke up early. <laughs> I woke up at seven something. Um, for the past month since I've had Riley, I usually get up at after 12. I'm like literally usually exhausted and about two days ago I woke up in, uh, at 7.30 and no actually I woke up at 6 something and stayed up I said you know I'm going to get up and I am going to live. I'm going to be productive and I'm not going to sleep in all day and be a sloth. Um, you know how you reread things about our habits and our habits make us and so I have, over the years, I've gained quite a bit of weight. And of course, weight gain is sometimes medical. For me, it's not. It has everything to do with laziness. <laughs> and I guess I become lazy with my food habits. I just eat anything now. Instead of uh, cooking and making meals that are great for me, I just eat anything. And with anything, you kind of start eating everything. And when you eat everything, you gain weight. You're not calorie counting or holding yourself accountable for um the additional calories that you take in so i'm um, just trying to get a better light in here oh much better hey but um yeah i'm just trying to um get back on track here i'm trying to get up and make the habits of a healthy person a healthy productive person because one thing i want to be is more productive my husband is not on leave anymore with me so that means i have to get up and i have to make sure the house is clean i have to cook i have to care for the kids i have to um be that person because my husband he, he's working again and so on his off days he helps but because i'm not working at the moment i'm on leave um i'd rather let him be able to just worry about work i'll hold down the kids i'll hold down the fort let me do everything else just trying to take it day by day and get my life back on track get a hold of myself get a hold of my appetite get a hold of my happiness grab it by the throat and um just take charge so today i'm gonna be upholst reupholstering my workout equipment so i have a gym i've had a gym for quite some time my husband has a gym as well since we moved here he has his gym inside and my gym is in the garage i know what you guys are thinking you're thinking you know why would you put your wife in the garage but i'm gonna tell you my equipment can't fit in the house like i have industrial gym equipment so my equipment is in the garage i don't mind being hot as long as the garage stays down when i have a problem with more here in florida it's frogs and mosquitoes hate frogs mosquitoes i hate them too because i don't like to itch and you know thinking about them is making me itch so um my equipment is in the garage and i am going to reupholster it right now i have some black i have some blue um but i'm going to reupholster it and make it red and white and i'm thinking about 
getting a hold of my sister-in-law's on my mom's cricket and um kind of customizing it as well making it fun i mean it's going to be my space that i'm going to use for me and to get me back you know get back to me so i want to make it as vibrant and as me as possible and i love the colors red and black um for some reason you know red for some people it's fire but for me it's coming um for black it just I don't know I just love the color black I feel like it absorbs and you know of course black absorbs but I feel like it just is calm and soon it absorbs all my negative energy and takes it away um just I don't know I don't know about the energies I don't get into that but I just feel like it it's just calming it's very calming to me I, I don't know about it being calming to anybody else but that's why I love the color black um it's consistent there's no imperfections in it it's just black it's smooth it's flat it's black um so uh with the red i don't want black because black is kind of boring in the gym equipment i want something vibrant which is why i'm using red and with the customizations of course they would be black like if i want to um I don't know, my name is Shar Keys, so I'm thinking about having an African Shar, the head of an African Shar, and then Keys. I don't know, it could be corny, but um, I'll see. I'll see what I'm going to do. I, I definitely want to liven it up some and make it me. Um, if someone else wants to use it, of course, um, that's one thing, but I want to make my area, my space about me. I have my office, but that's work-related, and um, where I'm going to be doing a lot of editing and splicing of my videos. Um, but as far as my garage, that's where I want to have fun. Working out used to be fun to me um, 10, 7, 8 years ago, 9 years ago as well. I skipped 9. <laughs> but working out used to be fun to me. It used to be something that I used as a stress reliever. Health used to be fun to me. It was something that, you know, you have control of. You have control of your body. And um, I used to morph my body into how I wanted. I would see other people's body and be like, oh, I want that. Um, I want that V cut. I want that. And so I would work for it and I would gain it. Um, and I just worked hard to maintain it. Um, I think depression has a lot to do with why I stopped taking care of myself. And then once I had kids, once I had Nyla, she is three, I just really didn't focus on myself at all. I kind of let myself go and I just worried about my child and that's it. And then, you know when i realized that self-care was not a part of my routine that's when i took it took a step back and i said you know what sharkies you have to you have to worry about you you can't take care of anybody else until you take care of yourself and uh if you're 400 600 500 pounds then guess who guess who you're going to be able to take care of guess who you're not going to be able to see probably your grandkids guess who you're not going to be able to take care of your own kids um you can't keep i can't keep gaining weight and right now it's stable, but who knows what it can turn into, you know. Stable weight today doesn't mean stable weight tomorrow. And I don't want diabetes that um, runs in my family um, once people are over a certain weight. My grandmother has diabetes. My grandfather died from diabetes um, on my mother's side. On my father's side and my mother's side, my grandmother has high blood pressure. Um, my other grandmother has high blood pressure as well. And um, it's just not something my, my father and mother also have it at this moment in time. And they didn't get it until they gained weight. And so they've always been healthy my, my entire life. But, you know, as you become older, you get more complacent. And you, your habits change. You prioritize things. You kind of make fitness on the backboard. Put, put fitness on the back burner sometimes. And that's not something that I can afford to do anymore. Because I can see that clearly... Um, Having a nice physique is genetic because my parents also had a nice physique and my grandparents as well. However, gaining weight is a habit. And it's something that I didn't think that I could do. And so, which is why I was kind of so lax on working out and also eating healthy. Oh, I'm in great shape. I'm not going to gain weight. Yeah. I gained weight. Uh, my metabolism slowed down and 
within two to three years I had put on 60 pounds um, I can't blame it on my kids because after I had Nyla I lost all of that weight in two weeks and after I had Riley I lost all of that weight in one week so it's I'm back at the weights that I was that I was pre-pregnancy and so um, after I had Nyla I gained about 25 pounds additional pounds and I've sort of kept that on I'm back at that 25 pounds from having Nyla well after having Nyla because I did not gain that weight from my pregnancy that was weight that I gained after my pregnancy and so um, I'm just trying to get all of this weight off and get back to what I consider a healthy size and so um, that's what I'll be doing I'll be working on my fitness equipment and I will record that so you can see that process As I finally finished, I am so happy to be done with that project. I think I'm going to take on an even bigger project and maybe paint the equipment. All of it's white, and I'm thinking about painting it black. And then um, I have some black padding in there that looks perfectly fine. I'm going to leave that alone and probably paint that equipment red. But I'm so happy to be done with this. It was like wrapping presents the night before Christmas. And that was a lot of work. That was a lot of staples, a lot of fabric, and a lot of cutting. Woo, I almost thought I had to go back to Joanne's fabric to pick up some more fabric, but... I just want to say thank you so much for tuning in and watching my first YouTube video. There will be more to come. Don't forget, you guys, please like and subscribe. And if you really love me, turn the bell on so you get that notification when I pop up with my next video. Thank you again. Until next time.